Y'all don't know how long I've been wanting to do this. Whew, finally done. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Music producers, what's up and welcome back to another video. It's me, they call me Heat. If you're new to the channel, if you're new watching any of my videos today, I'm a music producer of over 15 years and on my channel right here, I show producers how to make some of the best boom bap hip hop style beats. Yeah, as you can see, my studio looks a lot different and I'm more happy, I'm happy about it, I feel good about it. It was just time to do my own thing, if you know what I mean. As you can see, got a brand new desk. This is a sit-stand desk. This is my creative station. I've been waiting a very long time to be able to get a desk that really suits me. I look online and I see different types of desks where it has what I need, but then it's not big enough or it's too big, but it just doesn't have everything that I need it to have. And that just means space. That means just, just the feeling of being creative, you know? Not only that, like, Desks are so expensive, you know, because somebody is actually going to get the wood, they're chopping the wood, they're cutting the wood up into these shapes and these pieces and stuff like that. So it's expensive because somebody is already doing the work. But I'm one of those people where I'm like, yo, I don't have it right now and I would love to have it, but that desk also doesn't have everything that I need. So why not create it myself? So that's what I did. I went on a journey. I went to Home Depot. I got some dope, good, strong MDF wood. So after I went to Home Depot, I found the wood that I needed. I had the people chop it up to the, the measurements that I want. And I followed a desk uh, just the same size as the RAB Audio or the RAB Audio Desk. It's a producer desk that I was looking at, but I didn't like that it didn't go up and down. So yeah. this actually, I think, is a little bit deeper than the RAB. But if I once I add like racks and stuff like that, rack shelves, you know, it'll be about the same, same size, same depth. So I got it all cut. I ordered the frame. I put the frame together first. Then I put the wood on top and then, you know, measured it, made sure everything was right. And then, you know, here's my desk. Here we are. So I want to tell you guys a few reasons as to why I wanted to change my desk, upgrade my desk. Now, the first reason, like I said, I wanted to make sure that I had a desk that felt good, felt creative. You know what I'm saying? When my friends or my other producer homies or when artists come over, stuff like that, the desk, it looks good. It looks creative. It looks like this is a producer desk. This is a studio desk. There are some additions that I do want to add to the desk, like putting some rack shelves on here. So rack shelves will be below the speakers there. So the speakers will sit a little bit higher, things like that, just because I want to get some external gear. I don't plan to have a lot of hardware external gear, but I do know that since I am an audio engineer and I am a music producer, there are things that I do need to focus on having for, you know, those tasks. Number two, the second reason as to why I wanted to build a, a new desk or just get a new desk in general was because the other desk there was just a lot going on you know what I mean it was super small it really only fit this area right here so now I literally have way more space it didn't cost me a lot of money a lot of the desks online when I was looking a lot of stuff is just super expensive for what you get and it didn't have the all of the functionalities that I actually wanted them to have this desk since I built it on my own I bought a frame which was $200. Then I bought the wood, which was $50. And I bought the stain and the sandpaper and things like that, those accessories that didn't really cost too much. So a desk that would have originally cost me $1,200 is now probably gonna end up only costing me 300 once I add the racks onto the, the top of the desk because I'll build those myself and put them on top of the desk instead of buying some $100 you know, rack shelves when I can just spend 50 bucks and get them cut down to where I need them to be, glue them, screw them in, do whatever I gotta do. And I got a, two rack spaces. So cost was a big thing for me. And this, like I said, only costs right now before putting the rack shelves on about 250 to 275 altogether. So yeah, I mean, a desk that was $1,600 now becomes $300. 
Now the last one, the last reason why I wanted to do this and get this new desk is also because of organization. And obviously, you know, you want to have things organized, things looking good on the desk, because if this is your creative space, you need to make sure that your space, it, it has to feel creative. Like I said, I'm still building on the desk, but organization was a big part for me. So now I have everything on my desk, like unlike before my speakers were on stands my monitor obviously that's mounted audio interface my rack for my power my midi controller my actual typing keyboard my stream deck obviously everything but i still have a lot of space around the desk as well as well as organization that comes with making sure that your wires are good so that things aren't exposed fully now of course some of my wires are still exposed that's only to my pc uh, when I was looking at the RAB audio, it does have these like things in the back where I probably could have put my PC back there and then that would have made it look like, you know, my cords aren't showing all the way. But all in all, I did get the under uh, train for the desk to put the wires in that train and then they'll they all go through there so they're not hanging down all, all to the floor. The only thing that you see at the bottom here is the wires that are going to my actual PC. And that, I can't really control that. I can't cover those up. Unless I put the PC on the desk, which I didn't want to do. I still wanted to have it on the floor, um, propped up, um, yeah, on the dolly. So there you have it, y'all. That is my creative station. You've seen how the desk looks goes up and down i can literally move this desk up and down to any position i have a few positions saved on here already so you know if i want to stand up and do some work i can stand up and do some work uh let's see if i push this can i go up oh, oh we going up i can literally push the chair out the way stand up and do some work if i want to stand up and do some work um i can make it go higher but where I'm at, you know, I didn't want to lift it too much, but really good desk. So that is the desk, y'all, right there. Now, I didn't want to go through a full studio tour. I am going to have to do that for you. So if y'all do want a studio tour, just comment tour down in the comments below and let me know that you do want a full studio tour of everything that's in here. You can see like the behind the scenes of like what it looks like outside of this corner that you see right here all right so yeah just comment tour below let me know if you do want like a full studio tour if i get enough of y'all to tell me yeah or that comment tour i'll do one i appreciate you watching if you like the video please make sure you give the video a thumbs up all right and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well you know i mean if you like the video i'm gonna get up out of here y'all and until next time it's your boy he peace Music producers, yo, over on Patreon, I'm doing live beat making sessions every single week. So that means I'm showing you my process every single week, but it's live. So you're there and you're able to ask me questions. You're able to stop me in my process so that you can really figure out what it is that I'm doing right on the call with me. All right. So it's kind of like you'll be over my shoulder watching me while I make beats all day. And every single week as well, we'll have a live Q&A. So that means that you'll watch me make beats. We'll have a Q&A as well. So you'll get to ask me some things that maybe you missed during the beat making session that you forgot. You can come back and ask me during the live Q&A. All right. Now I'm going to be giving you guys discount codes every single month as well. So you'll get 25% off all products on boombapuniversity.com. As long as you're a member on Patreon, you will always receive a discount code every single month. All right. And you also will get access to our private Discord chat just because you're a member. So become a Boom Bap University alumni over on patreon.com slash they call me heat. And uh, yeah, I wanna see you inside cause I wanna help you. I wanna make you the best producer that you can be. I know that you can watch YouTube all day, but it's not the same when you can actually sit there and ask questions on the fly. All right.